Continuing on with our bumps discussion, taking a closer look at some examples in Google Earth. So let's first check out this one, this page, and uh, I have it open in Google Chrome, so let's check it out. First of all, here's the page, and uh, I don't think it's star maps, I don't think it's functional. I think, uh, so here we see these dirt uh, or uh, rock piles, and uh, here we are in some type of maps program. I just clicked the link he had, but here's where we are in Ethiopia, and here's that spot, and we see just a bunch of scattered stone circle formations so pretty weird and uh, over vast area and we see some well I didn't look over the area too closely but maybe there's some terraforming stuff but there's certainly the circle aspect on a large scale so the circles alongside uh, just the kind of bumps so kind of uh, just variations on uh, a circular pattern <clears throat> and what to be said uh, I guess all I really need to say is uh, I don't think it's functional I think it's um, a deliberate mystery as has been said already and it uh, covers a very large scale obviously very large area affected by these patterns and many variations and uh, that'll do it next up we have these bumps in Kazakhstan these step geoglyphs and this one so one of the main points I wanted to make uh, about these is that uh, not just the actual formation but the surrounding area has a similar look to it and like you see little uh, quasi bumps around in the area and let's go to uh, well first of all here's, a, uh, here's the rest of them and see like here even you kind of see like mm, this image yeah you see like little faint like here they they're bigger and more defined and then they kind of like get smaller and trail off and that little actually now that I think about it that just this uh, little arc of um, this trend of uh, bigger and more blatant uh, continuously uh, shifting over the course of these several uh, patterns or circles uh, to uh, fainter and smaller that may just be more gibberish or it may be like some type of clue uh, like like a trail of breadcrumbs leading you uh, into the surrounding landscape um, in a sense so that we we take a look in the surrounding landscape and we see more of these uh, uh, just odd um, circular formations and uh, as I'll show you in a moment um, so let's go to Google Earth here's Kazakhstan and it is this general area of Kazakhstan here so here is I think here is the yeah the swastika one and or uh, tri spiral and we see a lot of these like faint circles and this line here whatever that is and it's it's nothing in my opinion just nothing soup again and then here, all the way over here, we have, let me get that place mark out of the way. 
this circle, this one here. So, and even like this. So the, the whole landscape is kind of squiggly or affected in some somewhat subtle, somewhat subtle um, fashion by whatever made that uh, more blatant geoglyph up here. So like some of this stuff and here we go. These holes here or whatever this is, dents. Even these maybe. These. And it's tough because there's obviously some modern activity in the area so we can't really definitively come to a 100% conclusion, but just in my opinion, the whole area is worked over, and uh, yeah, maybe there. And there's, according to what I was reading, there's like 260 of these geoglyphs, and in Kazakhstan. And I, I only have two of them uh, place marked, but just uh, that tells you the extent of it. And I'm just saying it's not just in these little isolated locations, it's every, everywhere in between as well. Just on a smaller scale. See, like right here, here, it's whatever that is. It's just nonsense in every nook and cranny of the landscape. Even stuff like this, like this angular river bend, that may even be deliberate wonkiness. Ah, sorry, taking a sip of water. Okay, um, let's go to the one up the way a bit. The square one. Where is it? Oh, yeah, it's pretty far away. Up here. And we see that the uh, these little circular mounds, they're not just in this formation. They're all around here. Like, see this? These scattered all around. And... The surrounding landscape, I don't know that I saw anything super weird standing out to me, but then I didn't look super hard, so maybe if you look around here you can find stuff like, there's certainly faint indications of grooves and stuff, so I would suspect again that the whole landscape is worked over around here. And then the, the geoglyph thing may just be some type of weird calling card or something like that. With, uh, yep, we see all the additional bumps and possible grooves and stuff. Okay, let's take a look at other examples. Okay, these I'm going to skip over just because it's almost certainly modern... Uh, oil and natural gas activity, uh, although it certainly would not surprise me at all if there is um, ancient channel work or uh, older or, or at least uh, less down-to-earth explanation channel work in the area uh, in addition to the modern stuff, but since there is so much modern activity, it's, it's going to be hard to, hard to make that case, so I think I'll just skip these for now. Mexico. I do want to look at this one though, uh, just because this is looking like the traditional spoil piles or spoil islands that occur alongside these dredged channels. And we see this in conjunction with that, which is a little less um, coherent of a pattern. So let's take a look at that in Google Earth. There we go. Okay, so this is that area and here's the coast again with the streaks 
or beach ridges. And let's just get a feel for the area as a whole. Here's the bumps or uh, spoil islands. Just uh, a row of circular-ish features. Most likely from a dredge, probably. And then we have uh, the uh, coastal streaks here, which are presumably natural. Uh, but then we also have a whole bunch of, uh, like, there's just, either there's tons and tons of, like, dredging that touched every square inch of this area, which may be the case, like modern dredging. Um, or there's something weird going on, like just every, uh, every little corner of this area is all uh, affected by these lines. And then uh, also we have these little mounds here along the streaks. And these aren't looking like spoil piles from like a channel that was dug. They're just mounds along the natural beach ridge or grooves. And maybe they just, um, there's some set of natural conditions in the area which makes the, uh, the natural beach ridges erode in a fashion which creates, creates these bumps or uh, these little islands naturally. It's possible. But then we see how similar this is here to what's over here. Not exactly the same, but very similar. I just wonder, first of all, if these uh, beach ridges or streaks are even natural, <clears throat> given the, the bumps along them and also all these lines that we have uh, some indications of uh, s possible sculpting, not just in, on the water, but on the land as well. And okay. Uh, so first of all, wondering if these are even natural, these streaks, and then what do we have? Uh, we have uh, just these uh, patches of land which aren't really back in 2004 looking the same still. So just patches of worked over land on these uh, islands that don't appear to be used for anything, at least not at the moment. Same thing here, just, I don't know, we might even call this old grid or something, just some, some type of... Uh, activity which is no longer happening. Could be like test sites or digs, dig sites for oil and natural gas uh, activity. It's possible. Uh, long tool marks, I think I'm just referring to the uh, streaks. Many lines, yeah, all of these, these lines here. Exploratory? Maybe. I mean, they're just like blazing through everything, these lines. Okay. Uh, long linear path, see older photos. Um, so I think I'm just talking about one of these dredge lines. Yeah, I knew I wouldn't be able to see it. <laughs> this block, or the way it loads, just not uh, showing up. But yeah, like this here, and continuing there, and just a long uh, dredge mark across the streaks, the beach ridges, what have you. Uh, okay. Yeah, so whatever that is, there it is, and many other lines. And then let's go up here real quick 
and look at the modern activity. It's tough because there's so much modern activity in this area as well. What is this? Natural jetty or uh, modern um, modern jetty here. It's looking a little strange. Retaining wall of some kind maybe. These we might call old grid, but what do they look like? Yeah, they look pretty new back in 2004, so it's probably most likely modern stuff there. And then I think the last thing I wanted to show you in this area is the bumps or little islands uh, which are used for some type of fishing activity or uh, agriculture or whatever. Like we see little um, structures and uh, modern stuff on some of them, but not on others. So they may just use one area and then use it up and move on. We have uh, all the underwater stuff, so maybe they're doing some type of underwater uh, aquaculture or something. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, so this one may be a dud. It may not. They may have built on top of weird patterns. Uh, it's still a slightly odd uh, array of islands, little islands, uh, and maybe spoil islands. It's probably my best guess. Uh, I want to measure this real quick just to see how large it is. About 150 feet across for a typical island here. And, uh, okay, I think that's the gist of it. Um, any major comments I should make? Um, I guess just that uh, there's a slight chance it's the, the modern activity is occurring over uh, older, stranger patterns, but it, it's going to be very hard to make that case, so I should probably just move on. All right. And eventually I'll give you a tour of the whole Mexico coast um, along the Pacific side because there's a whole bunch to see, a lot of interesting case studies. Uh, I don't think I want to make this episode five hours long, though, so I'll do that later. Uh, Peru, I've already showed you Lake June in a couple times, the bumps, the channels, and uh, I guess I would just say that uh, to summarize on this particular one, I'm 50-50 as to whether these bumps here are from conventional down-to-earth dredging of, uh, for a modern purpose or for uh, some, um, uh, as a part of this ongoing strangeness, uh, especially with the presence of all the other odd patterns in the area, all the channels, and then even if you look closely, you'll see the, sorry, the w wavy, like, mature type patterns potentially underlying all the modern modern activity. So there's a lot going on in that area that's not uh, that's not conventional or it's it's kind of inexplicable. Okay, Russia, I do want to show you this area in Google Earth. There's a strong chance this is 100% natural, but uh, I just want to get a feel for it anyway. Let me check it out. So it's an island up on the north side of Russia and up here somewhere. So I think right here, yeah. So whatever uh, island this is. And then we've got these uh, this bumpy landscape. So we'll check it out. There's a whole bunch of stuff to discuss in Russia. Uh, I haven't really shown you too much of it yet. There's, but in spots like this, there's plenty of uh, like straight lines. Yeah, like yeah, I just this looks like it might be tire tracks, but uh, there are plenty of like just inexplicable arcs and uh, straight lines and out of place angles and stuff. Like even he here maybe slightly so um, uh, 
like even right right here this just like this straight ish or fairly straight and fairly con uh, continuous uh, wide linear gouge or um, not continuous that's not the word I'm looking for uh, uh, consistent width I guess or whatever but uh, so the bumpiness is that natural there's a good chance it is could be like for some seismic purposes or just the the rock the way it erodes it just kind of crumbles or erodes in a bumpy pattern like this and uh, it's a pretty vast area there's like flatter looking um, like I don't know like a scale type pattern like like uh, scales on a on skin or something I'm not saying that's what I think it is I'm just saying it resembles that and then there's also the uh, the bumpier aspect to it or the lumps or mounds of, uh, of rock and uh, I'm sure there's good geological explanations for it or at least decent explanations um, but yeah the uh, this island this island over here and the whole Russian landscape is worth uh, a few hours of your time probably if you just want to go surfing around there just to look for straight lines and angles and stuff and potential weird patterns and see what I what I would look for here is like little um, uh, areas where the uh, the polygons look too um, too regular or too strange so in for the most part it looks like a fairly natural pattern uh, I would just say it would be interesting if we could find patches of non organic looking patterns or layout or uh, break uh, crack cracking of the land or whatever causes the segmentation here but yeah we see the, the bumpy landscape again this one I have a tough time asserting confident confidently that I think it's artificial but it's just to be taken into account and uh, considered as a kind of a reference point for the other bumps we're seeing but yeah it wouldn't surprise me if much or even most or even all of Russia is like artificially uh, given this makeover to the surface but Russia's too big so we should just move along at this point okay San Simeon California so I will take you here for a couple minutes uh, San Andreas Fault we already looked at this in Google Earth so I don't want to take you here on Google Earth today and then South Africa uh, we already looked at so I don't think we need to go there again but just that uh, that bumpy pattern again similar to Russia but uh, possibly uh, well obviously some differences and then uh, even Jordan is somewhat similar and uh, so this presumably seismic in San Andreas Fault area in California but uh, San Simeon as you'll see is pretty far away and we still have this uh, spotty pattern which may be uh, pock marks or raised mounds so let's go to Google Earth and look okay and it's taking us there so let's zoom out real quick and the San Andreas fault for reference is like over here so San Andreas fault is right along here and San Simeon California is not super close to that 41 miles so it could still be seismic patterns but uh, what we're seeing is yeah the the pockmarked kind of bumpy pattern 
may have something to do with what we're seeing in Russia, maybe not. Uh, and uh, uh, tool marks, I don't know about that, tough to say, but uh, what else? Okay, so we do have uh, something else we need to consider here that's very important, I think. So, uh, so yeah, the spots, pockmarks, but the important thing is uh, this uh, gash across this, um, uh, I don't know, headland here. So, the idea is that uh, this line here and this edge too, potentially, it's a little less defined, less well-defined. It was, uh, it was uh, in some sense, tooled across or uh, sheared across or sheared over or manipulated in some fashion along this wide path here. And we see some uh, um, linear uh, or nearly linear lines in that orientation, looking fairly uh, organic, these lines. They're not like super uh, strict parallel. They're more organic, but just the placement of this, uh, this gash here is a little little awkward to me, and then maybe even this, like, this type of deal, like this, and even that, that's, this is more speculative, but this I feel somewhat confident about, and then I just saw one more down the way a bit, uh, where was it? Here's another one, see this? Huge gash scrape mark. So, let's check this out. This uh, here could be natural, but I just get a weird vibe and see it potentially. Mm, that might be natural, but these, I don't know how I feel about that, especially with the presence of this path here, foot trail, that's possible, but I tend to think these uh, trails are not just modern access trails, but they're rather these, uh, these tooling maneuvers, perhaps. And then this, uh, this, these big gashes along the coast, uh, not to mention potentially these parallel gougy things here. Uh, these would be artificial maneuvers of artificial sculpting of the coast. Perhaps, potentially, maybe even here. Like this, I don't know, but that's uh, probably a discussion for another day. I just wanted to show you that um, these phenomena occur side by side. Oftentimes, these uh, these various uh, types of anomalies, the bumps, the artificial sculpting of the coast and the landscape. Uh, all this kind of stuff here, we see some type of path there. So, the bumps, my explanation would be that the bumps may just be some type of uh, finishing touch or just a texturing, uh, just something to give some kind of look to the area after they worked it over. Even these lines, like, uh, well, it could be these dudes. Um, yeah, very tough to say with all the modern stuff in the area, but I think the, this whole area and pretty much 
everywhere or most places or many places are artificially goofed up. See these little angles? Kind of subtle, but and almost almost rows or paths of bumps or in between them. If you're just kind of seeing what I'm seeing. Possibly. So if you were to give this area a close look, you might see some strange paths and or some bumps at least. So not sure why or what it is, but it's a bumpy area. There you have it. Let's continue on. South Africa, I won't take you here, but it's pretty similar to uh, what we were seeing there just a minute ago. Jordan, okay. Uh, and remember in Jordan we have Petra, these large-scale uh, um, earth maneuvers, artificial manipulations of the, the solid rock here. And... Um, yeah, so let me take you to Jordan in Google Earth and show you some of this stuff. So it's right next to Petra, or some of it is at least. And there is quite a bit of modern activity. So it's going to be difficult to definitively say that it's not modern people, like mining the area. But, uh, so here's... Petra and all the all the goofness and then uh, up over here this whole landscape pretty vast area is uh, has this pattern to it so in my opinion this is by the same hand or um, same agenda behind Petra itself the uh, archaeological anomalies there. Uh, so th this, uh, again, we see some bumps, we see lines, we see wavy lines. It's, it's kind of like a pattern soup thing once more. And There may be some mining to it, and I, it occurred to me that the the bumps, or the piles, or the mounds, they may just be spoil piles, spoil piles from uh, mining of the area, or heavy, heavy land dredging, or earth mover activity, but uh, the scale of it is insane, it's like... at least 63 miles and we see similar patterns in Bolivia and which is halfway around the world and Syria as I'll show you in a minute but it just doesn't stop really it's go look for yourself just kind of start zooming in on some random areas in Jordan and see if you don't see some of this and see if you think all of it is the work of modern mining efforts and I don't think it's ancient civilization either. I think it's uh, more akin to like a uh, like somebody playing Sim City, the video game, and just kind of hitting reset or just scribbling over. Like I haven't talked too much about this theory yet, but uh, Earth as a game board, like the game Risk or uh, Age of Empires, if you played that one, or uh, yeah, Sim City, just any one of those like civilization building games. It's like Earth is a theme park where you can go and like LARP in that type of scenario, like live action role play. Like you, uh, I don't know, like some some outsiders come in here and they uh, they just create a a scenario like a a play board for whatever games they want to play, and then once they want to play a new game or uh, re reconfigure an area. They just take their supercomputer and 
um, fart out some new patterns <laughs> and, and start over or start fresh in the area. Um, and or uh, there's a continuous pattern generation with, with some abrupt um, um, more... Uh, uh, oh, I can't think of the word. Um, with some more dramatic intermittent uh, uh, reconfiguration, but possibly a continuous reconfiguration of the surface that happens rather slowly. That's possible. Uh, so, this could all be that. Um, and it could be like the uh, the games that are played, they riff off of whatever patterns the algorithm spits out, like I've mentioned before. Uh, just really no end to these uh, large-scale worked-over mountains patterns. Here, almost looking natural. Almost. Maybe some artificial stuff. Maybe not, but yeah, we definitely have the bumps or piles in the area. Yeah, see, even here, like, these these ridges and uh, contours are looking somewhat cartoonish to me. So, that's Jordan. And then, over here in Syria, very similar thing. So, there's a whole bunch I could show you. I have tons of place marks in the area, but uh, just the stone circles we have, and then uh, covering a very vast area. So here we see like either these this uh, plot of land is being utilized, or these are just arbitrary bumps patterns. These might be like trees, this like a agricultural plot here, or these might just be arbitrary uh, patterns. I think they're. I think it's agriculture, but there's so many plots here, it's just like, uh, do they need to make all these odd patterns? And it's certainly like this, like what the heck? So I don't think these are practical. I think uh, best best guess, or one of my top guesses, it's, it's some type of rollout of a continuing revamping of the surface, which, uh, like a dynamic uh, shuffling or uh, dynamic ongoing makeover like here fairly weird and then let's let's try and see some bumps bumps are dirt piles from agricultural activity that may be the case uh, they lo it looks like they're just outcrops of rock though you know, like this looks kind of like solid rock. And then even parts of the rock are looking like they're like, have aspects of the stone circle look to them. Uh, like there and like these may be actual stone circles, but I, again, it's just kind of like a soup to me. A mishmashing of, or blending of patterns and more bumps everywhere, kind of scattered, very haphazard landscape here. And the scale, again, pretty um, staggering. And we see all these modern settlements, so that's what makes me second guess this pretty hard, because there's it's a pretty heavily populated area. Um, like here, this area looks wet almost. Maybe uh, like a more uh, rivered area or uh, more like fertile land for farming over here. I don't know. But see the same thing? I don't, I don't know that I buy that all of these are like land plots for farming stuff or even mining or other crap, but people are living here and doing stuff. See, this is a more conventional look to, uh, like, what a 
a modern utilization of the land looks like this. So I'm not thinking this in particular is uh, the strangeness. I'm looking more at this, which is like the size of this guy's house, these mounds. So I don't know, tough to say, very tough to say. I'm torn, but uh, the stone circles and the bumps and the uh, the plots, and then it looks like we also have some kites in the area. I probably have a bunch of place marks for these as well. Uh, but the the kite thing, which some people are saying is uh, animal traps, and that makes sense for some of them. But there's also like some that are so strangely configured, like. Um, like here, for example, this isn't looking like a coherent animal trap to me. Uh, so let me drop a place mark real quick. Thank you for your patience. And yeah, so these kites in the area as well. Once more, just a pattern soup, if you ask me. And this is Syria again. We are in Syria right now. So, we have the, the kites in Jordan and, I guess, extending into Syria and wherever else. And stone circles, bumpiness, and the scale of it, one more time, is pretty staggering. Uh, kite stone walls. Okay, so... Enough of that. Let's go back and see where else we need to cover. So, Syria, we just looked at this. Probably artificial weirdness is my contention. Bolivia, I've showed you this area already. Once again, tempted to say it's mining of some kind or some industrial activity for modern purposes, but my best guess is that that's not what it is. Iraq, just a channel with bumps, could be modern. Denty landscape in Iraq. I do want to take you here, so let's check this out. So here we are in Iraq. Uh, there's Thar Thar Lake. I thought that was an interesting name with all the Tartary talk lately, uh, but anyways, uh, hill is denty and gougy, so I have a whole bunch of place marks in this area, I don't know how many I want to show you, but these are some larger scale, dense, and then um, more blatant ones, pock marks, and then, or holes, or uh, indentations, and then we have the, the whole landscape with that look to it. Uh, I'll just get to the point and say my best guess here is that this is not, most likely not uh, natural geological stuff or uh, modern stuff, although there's certainly modern stuff in the area. Uh, I think the best explanation for this denty look to the area is some type of reworking of the land by the managers of Earth for any number of purposes. Or by a managing party of Earth. There may be multiple managing parties with multiple agendas. Blah, blah. Uh, yeah, so I think the whole landscape, again, is worked over, and I could go show you a million details and repeat one more time that there's a bunch of modern activity in the area, so it's tough to be 100% certain. But even so, I'm going with uh, artificial weirdness on the dents in this area, or indentations, or squarish, and sometimes circular holes, and just the, the more subtle more subtle, dense in the whole area. So, 
artificial gooberiness, vast area, obviously. It's this, it's this, it's this over here. And let's just measure this just to get a sense of scale one more time. Oh, and we do have stone walls again. So 34, 40 miles, 50 miles. Uh, let's go over all the way over here, see if we see similar stuff. Uh, not in great resolution, but about here. Looking kind of similar. Let's go to the other end. Over here. And we see stone walls. Yeah, the, the goofy haphazard kite patterns, or what some people call kites. I don't know, I guess they resemble a kite. And I'll be talking more about these in the uh, stone walls uh, topical video coming up. But just mentioning it here that it's occurring alongside the, the gouges and the, uh, the dents nearby or indentations and bumps. Some bumpiness to the area, I would say, for sure. But yeah, large scale, goofy stone walls, these guys. Odd. And even some possible faint parallel lines here. You see that? See these? Kind of faint, but let's take a look. Historical photos. That's what I mean by like working over of the land. I hate when it does that. 4 p.m. Okay. That's enough of this area, I think. Artificial, I'm saying, artificial rectangle, just artificial, a thing, everything, okay, where am I, here, Peru, showed you this in Google Earth once, I think, already, so I will skip it, already made the major points I want to make on this. So revisit the last video if you want to hear that. Full Dragarn in Wales. Let's take a look at this in Google Earth. Again, the denty look to it. And uh, just a couple more images after this one. So shouldn't be too much longer. So let me go there now. Full Dragarn Hill Fort. Krimich. Okay, so here's the thing. Whatever. And then the main point I want to make is that this general area all over here is basically uh, just variations on that same look. So it's not as if this is an isolated hill fort. It's more like the whole area is bumpy and denty and kind of gougy and shaped. So, see faint indications of it here, perhaps. Let's see, where else? Faint straight path, 2013 photo. Let's check that out. So I think here what I mean is this. It's kind of subtle, but just like a straight path in the rock of some kind. And looking to me like, so yeah, I see it better here, like maybe here as well. There even. Uh, so these to me are indications of artificial manipulations of the rock. So I, again, I don't know about the depositing of the rock in the first place. That's certainly on the table still for me. Like the whole area could have been like just a huge chunk of land like deposited onto the, the countryside and then worked over or they just worked over or manipulated what was already there. Uh, I mean, I have, I don't really have any way of uh, supporting either one with evidence, but I think they're both certainly possible at this point. And just lots of little paths and 
uh, indentations perhaps there and let's go to somewhere a little ways away oh place marks back on so here we have a uh, an angular patchy pattern in this area pretty tough to say anything definitive since there's modern activity nearby but the older photos uh, show some kind of angular faint indications of something odd perhaps even here like there and there like here Uh, yeah, and you see it here, like this, if you just kind of take a step back and uh, look at the area, this kind of area as a whole, you see some angular features everywhere. So, I'm saying that this, uh, this hill fort over here, and pretty much all of the intermediate area as well, is just a weird working over of the landscape to achieve some strange effect that I haven't quite pinpointed yet. Uh, yep, all right, that's enough of that. And then I think the last one I wanted to show you was uh, Syria. These are probably volcanic fields or rows of uh, volcanic mounds. So let me get this one up in Google Earth. Rith Dimashk. There we go. Uh, and this is what I'm talking about. Obviously we have the uh, the bumpy and squiggly patterns that I was showing you a moment ago and the kites and stuff uh, nearby and then so that's all down here and then we also have these mounds these dark spots these are all large mounds and certainly any number of natural explanations for these I'm sure a, a quick Google search could turn could turn up the explanation for it but um, I just want to throw in the speculation that, uh, once again, as usual, that the whole area surrounding it is artificially manipula manipulated somehow. So first of all, what do we see? What have I flagged? Um, so we have stone circles in the area. Uh, so that needs to be considered. Uh, for whatever that's worth and then these mounds which are pretty large let's measure one they're too big to be spoil piles it's like uh, 1500 or 2000 feet across some of these and some of them quite a bit larger than that so I think these are not spoil piles I'm pretty sure these are natural or considered natural uh, potential path around the rim here you see that maybe some type of path in stone see that like the, the vehicle tracks phenomenon that new earth talks about and many others but i'm seeing like potential paths or something like that like even these this parallel thing up here similar to what we see in mauritania uh in the out of last few out of place channels videos <clears throat> Just the parallel line up the cliffside. Yeah, more stone circles adorning the area. And see how something like this, this doesn't quite look like a stone circle. It's tough to say from above, but it could, could be like some type of variation on that or just like a intermediate type pattern, like halfway between a bedrock layer and a stone circle. Uh... If that doesn't float your boat, just forget that, but just consider that the uh, 
the whole area maybe worked over like this line even see that continuing like that uh, okay so the whole area is squiggly wavy could be natural certainly uh, it's rectangular rectangular patches what else Stone circles, like, are these people just, like, flat-out building stone circles out here? Like, what are they doing? <laughs> like, that's so, that's so weird, um, if that's what's happening. These people, I don't know, like, they sh something shows up in the lot, there's some kind of project around here, but it looks like these were here before the project, maybe? I don't know. But it looks like these circles have been there a while. These, it's faint, but yeah, they were there in 2004. Yeah, so it's been there a while, at least. <sighs> yeah, more of these, the, um, what else? Stone circle, fantastic. The waviness, obviously. Stone circles, more of it. Wavy lines natural. They could be. They might be. I don't know. Okay. Uh, so U-shaped trough. This is something we see quite a bit of. Uh, it's fairly ubiquitous phenomena. The U-shaped trough. Seen many places. Uh, the stone circle. Even like this edge here might even be like a manipulated path or a path of manipulation this angular ditch here uh, potentially continuing here so and that river path or something maybe with the wiggles and you will be free in just a few minutes, because I don't think I have too many place marks here. Again, a vast area. Uh, good chance it's a combination of natural and artificial patterns. Although both of those terms, natural and artificial, need to be clearly defined to, uh, to get a sense for what I mean by that. But that's kind of a longer discussion. And even all this stuff, like this look to the landscape, this may be the same type of deal, just uh, artificial squoogification. Pretty sure that's a word. And we see the stone circles everywhere, more or less. Uh, and I was just, well, maybe like this type of thing, like almost looks like a, a path to me of some kind. Maybe even like defined edges of it there. Might be a stretch, but uh, what was I just looking at? I think I was seeing a path somewhere, some type of angular feature or path. But yeah, if you just go zooming around, I'm sure you'll see something. It catches your eye. The circles. And kind of bumpy, a little bumpy. But these bumps are the, the big volcanic mounds or whatever they are. That's why I brought you over here. Uh, but there's some other artificial stuff in the area. So, man, even like that. Is that modern? Arg. I, I hate not being able to just quickly have an answer. See, uh, crap. Is it, it might be modern mining, but there's a chance that 
and more of the U-shaped thing here, actually. There's a chance that this, this is some type of older or weird earthworks pattern. Uh, hmm. Well, and it's around the rim of pretty much all of these, and not just around the rim, but like we see up to and just paths everywhere, kind of dead ending and so uh, I would say I'm 51 49 in favor of artificial weirdness on those on these paths and mounds and earthworks type things we're seeing and the 49 would be uh, modern mining efforts or or some type of industrial activity there's just a lot of these working over paths and odd ditches and angles and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Probably part of the makeover project, but wouldn't surprise me if it's just modern tractors doing shit. So, all right, uh, that's enough bumps and surrounding associated stuff. Uh, I think next one will be on cartoonish rivers, so check back for that one. Thank you for watching. See you next time.